On Sunday night, December 13th, 2022, the Financial Times broke this article on a potential breakthrough in fusion technology. They leaked this piece of info. It says the fusion reaction at the US government facility produced about 2.5 megajoules of energy, which was about 120% of the 2.1 megajoules of energy in the lasers, aka the energy they put into the reaction to get it going. And this milestone of getting more energy out than you put into the reaction is called ignition, and it's something scientists have been trying to do since the 1950s. And to give you some backdrop here, fusion energy is hailed as the holy grail to a clean, plentiful, renewable energy future. It is the same reaction or process that happens in every star in the universe that creates all of its heat and light. And to my knowledge, that is the only place in the universe that fission reaction is possible, and that's due to the immense gravitational pressure generated by the mass of stars. I mean, life exists here on Earth because of the energy from the fusion reaction of the sun. And now for the first time, us measly humans can actually harness this process ourselves. It's a really big deal, I really can't overstate this. And today, Tuesday, December 13th, the Department of Energy had a, a, a news conference on this announcement. Uh, today, we're here to talk about fusion, combining two particles into one. Last week, at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, scientists at the National Ignition Facility achieved fusion ignition, and that is creating more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. And so using lasers, they zap this container, this whole rum, uh, this gold thing with the deuterium in it, and the lasers create x-rays, and the x-rays create constructively interfering shock waves that get the thing to fuse mm -hmm. without a giant magnetic bottle and without the gravity of a star. Mm -hmm. And so this is the first time by all accounts, they've gotten more heat out than they put in. And this is amazing. So this announcement and this experiment is a huge win for all of humanity. With that said, the road to having fusion energy within our power grid is still at least a decade away. This is a massive breakthrough, but there's still other breakthroughs that need to happen. Some of the big ones that come to mind is actually capturing all of the energy released in an efficient way, and also finding a way to make the process uh, economical and competitive with existing forms of energy. This will eventually happen. Now with this massive breakthrough, there is zero doubt in my mind that this is actually the future, the near future of our society as human beings. And it's kind of funny. I think we're gonna look back at the fossil fuel era where humanity had to burn oil and gas to produce energy as a very unfortunate 200 year long period of time. And who knows, maybe this experiment is marking the beginning of the age of fusion. Okay, but you guys might be asking, how exactly is fusion different and better than fission? Because current nuclear reactors use the fission process. And fusion energy today is a very clean and needed form of energy to help minimize the effects of climate change. The reaction involves taking a heavy element and splitting it into two lighter elements. And these two lighter elements end up having less overall mass than the particle you started with. And that extra mass is converted to energy. And that energy can then be captured and used to heat up water into steam and spin a turbine. The big downside of fission is that this starting element, the fuel, is uranium. It's radioactive, and that leaves you with uh, radioactive byproducts. And fusion technology completely fixes this because it's the exact opposite. We are taking two lighter elements and combining it into one heavier element. And here the fuel or the inputs isn't uranium, it's hydrogen. These are combined under immense heat and pressure to form helium. And again, just like with the other reaction, helium has less overall mass than the two inputs, thus releasing energy in the process. Essentially, once we figure out both fusion and fission technology, humanity will become masters at manipulating matter to create energy. That is how all future civilizations will be powered, and the idea of burning gas is gonna be so archaic. So yeah, I had to talk about this news. It is a huge day for all of humanity. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.